Thanks, UPS man. Y'all, UPS has really upped their delivery service. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm super excited for today's video for a couple of reasons. One, I'm trying something new and different that I haven't done before. And as you know, I'm pretty new to crafting, so I always enjoy trying out brand new crafts. But two, and most importantly, today we are trying a new craft that has been kind of in the back of my mind for a while. This was a hobby that I saw going around on TikTok and Instagram back in 2020, you know, when we were all locked down at home. And I never bit the bullet on getting started because I knew that it would be a slippery slope. But alas, the wait is over and I am finally giving it a try. And if you're curious to know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about diamond painting. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the idea of diamond painting, it's basically the same idea as a paint by number, where you're able to paint this beautiful image by just following the numbers on the canvas. Except in this case, instead of paint, you are using diamonds. Well, technically they're resin coated rhinestones, but it's a lot more fun to call them diamonds, so we're gonna go with that. Diamond Art Club, who is the sponsor of today's video, thank you Diamond Art Club, reached out a few weeks ago asking if I wanted to give their diamond painting a try. And when I found out that they had DIY greeting card kits, I knew that I had to take them up on their offer. So fast forward a couple of weeks and the UPS man dropped down from the sky, this greeting card kit. Now they have a few different kit options. I chose the fantasy set because I thought that these images were just fun and colorful. And I thought that this was a llama, though I'm finding out that I think maybe it's actually a unicorn. That's okay, we like unicorns too. But anyway, today I'm going to unbox the kit for you guys, show you all what's inside and put a couple of the cards together. And be sure to stick around until the end because if you enjoy their greeting cards, you're gonna love their canvases. And I have one of those to show you as well. So without further ado, let's uh, jump into the kit. Right off the bat, the first thing I notice is just how sparkly the box is. So they're clearly really leaning into the diamond and sparkly thing. And if we look on the back, we can see that the kit comes with everything that we need. It comes with three cards, three envelopes, the diamonds, the tool that we will use to apply the diamonds, wax and a craft tray, which I believe this is what actually holds all of the diamonds so you don't have them going flying all over your desk. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. And inside we have the three envelopes and these are also very shiny, kind of, they're not really, I wouldn't call these sparkly, but they're very shiny and shimmery. Um, so very nice quality envelopes. And then inside we have the card. This one is the Unicorn Llama, <laughs> which honestly that one is really speaking to me. So we might end up doing that one first. So I'll go ahead and set these two aside. And then we also have the diamonds themselves. So we have all of the diamonds for all three cards. These should be labeled. We have Unicorn and Rainbows, Undersea Friends, and then I choose to be a unicorn. I believe that that is the unicorn llama that I keep calling it. So I'll go ahead and grab that. And then lastly, we have this little DIY diamond painting toolkit, which I believe contains all of the tools like the applicator and the wax, the tray, etc. So yes, we have our applicating tool. Um, it looks like we have a bunch of little Ziploc baggies, which is nice. So if you are mid project, you know, you can save your diamonds in these little Ziploc bags without having them, you know, get loose in your drawers or whatever. And then we have a couple more things here. We have a grip for our tool. This is kind of just like a pencil grip. So just for some extra comfort. And then this is actually the wax that we're going to use to help pick up our diamonds. And then lastly, we have this extra little tool. This is an extra head, I guess you could call it, to put on your tool. I think you can just slip it here in the end. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And this will allow you to actually pick up multiple diamonds at a time if you're trying to place multiple diamonds of the same color. So help speed things up. Okay, let's go ahead and open up our card, shall we? I guess we already did, but let's reopen it. We have, I choose to be a unicorn. And you'll notice that the picture has a bunch of numbers all over it. Like I mentioned, this is very similar to a paint by number. So as you can see, it looks like white is assigned the number one. And if we look over here on these diamonds, yes, the white packet here has a one on it. So we know that these are the diamonds that we're gonna place on the one slots. I actually think I wanna start with the glasses. Um, so I'm going to open up number two first, which is actually looks more like a hot pink than a red, really. 
Okay, so we found our number two pack. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this out. And I'm gonna set the rest of these to the side. And then I'm gonna pour our hot pink diamonds into the tray. Now I did watch a video before trying this and it said that if you hold your tray like this and just give it a shake, that the diamonds will kind of fall in line into these little grooves face up. And it does look like most of those are face up. So that's a good pro tip. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab our wax. It looks like it has a little bit of a plastic seal on it. Take that off. And then the idea is you just kind of push your tool into the wax. And as you can see, the tip now has red wax on it. So that is what will allow us to actually pick the diamonds up. And I am also gonna go ahead and put our grip on for added comfort, why not? And then I'm actually gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. The other thing you'll notice is that each card has a thin layer of plastic over it. And that's because wherever you see these numbers, there is a thin layer of adhesive that Diamond Art Club has actually already applied to the card. So that means you don't have to mess with tape or glue or anything like that. The adhesive is already on the card. And this little thin layer of plastic is just protecting that adhesive from getting, you know, dust, dirt, what have you on it. So before you get started, you'll just want to peel your plastic back. And I guess this is probably <laughs> this is probably another good tip that I'm just thinking of. You should probably start, I guess, towards the top of the plastic, right? So like, oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, you don't want to hit your tray, but I'm going to go ahead and just place these back in. Okay, so crisis averted. Do as I say, not as I do. And let's go ahead and do our glasses. So that wax does make it super easy to pick up the diamonds. And then I'm just gonna place my first little diamond on one of the number two spots. And it's really honestly super easy. The adhesive immediately grabs onto the diamond. I don't feel like I'm really having to add much pressure to it at all. So it's honestly pretty seamless. I could definitely see how this would be relaxing after, you know, a long, hectic day. It's a nice way to just kind of zone out. You know, it doesn't take much skill or thought. You're just picking up and placing down, and then you have a nice, pretty image at the end. What more could you want? And I love that this kit comes with everything you need. You don't have to buy a bunch of extra supplies on the side. I know that can be really intimidating, especially with card making. Like I use so many tools and equipment that it can be really intimidating to get started because you can't really just go to one place and buy one thing and have all the tools you need. So this is a great way to make a fun card and have everything you need in one kit. It's also super approachable, right? Like anyone could do this from your grandma to your little nephew. So I'm going to keep going along and placing these diamonds and speed this next part up and we will check in after I've done the glasses. Okay, so I have completed the glasses and I mean, look how sparkly that is already. I can't imagine what it's gonna look like when it's totally complete. Um, but that was super simple and really satisfying, frankly. I mean, I didn't have to apply any new wax that whole time. So, and I still feel like I could go quite a bit longer without reapplying the wax. So it's not like you're reapplying the wax over and over again, which I was curious to see kind of how often you might need to refill. But yeah, the glasses are done. I don't see any more. Oh, actually there are. Okay, I did miss a couple. I didn't realize, I didn't realize the little points of the glasses are in here as, oh, <laughs> I gotta pull the film back. I was like, why is it not sticking? Okay, there we go. So there's a little pink point to each of these that I missed. I'm glad I noticed that, but anyway, 
now there are no more twos. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these diamonds back in their packaging, which this tray makes that really easy because it has this little funnel on there. So I think I should be able to just, if my hole's big enough, yes, okay. And those go in just like so. All right, perfect. And then like we saw earlier, we got a bunch of Ziploc bags, so I can also place these in one of the little baggies. That way we know for sure they're not gonna fall out anywhere. And I can hold on to these. Okay, so next we might as well start on the body, right? That is the biggest surface area here, so we might as well go ahead and get a start. And the body is made up primarily of number ones. So, I'm gonna grab my number ones here. Okay, I might have poured too much, but that's okay. So I'm gonna peel the film back and then I'm gonna go ahead and get started on his body. Okay, and the white is done. Obviously the body took a little bit longer than the glasses did, but it still didn't take that long. And I was curious to see how the text under here would actually still show up, because as you can see, we didn't put diamonds on the text. And I choose to be a unicorn still shows up really well underneath the diamonds. Now, I have to admit, this is a little embarrassing, but as I was doing this, I finally understood why it's a llama with a unicorn head. It's because it's a llama who is choosing to be a unicorn. Now, don't ask me why it took me so long to get that, <laughs> but now I get it. Um, and let's go ahead and I guess dive into number three, which will be these little gray parts, the ears and the snout. Okay, y'all, and with that, we have completed our very first card. Now, the last couple colors on the horn only had a couple diamonds each, so I didn't bother dumping them out into the tray, and that worked pretty well. And it looks like I have quite a bit of leftover diamonds, so now I have diamonds that I can use on my other card project, so that's exciting. And I'm not sure if you can tell from this shot, but I mean, these diamonds are super sparkly. I mean, even if I give it just the tiniest little tilt, I can see them shimmering all over the place. I wanna show you guys what all three of them look like completed, so I'll probably do the other two while I'm watching TV, and I'm gonna come back and show you what those look like completed as well. And there you have it. So it is later in the day, and I have now completed all three of the cards. It was actually a really perfect day to work on this because Kim Petras dropped a surprise new album today. So I was actually just sitting in my living room listening to the new album and just rhinestoning away. Um, and I even got my partner Adam in on it. So we just had a good, jolly good time, you know, doing some Simple arts and crafts. Do you see how shimmery and shiny these diamonds are? I'll try to get some B-roll shots as well, but I mean, I hope you can see how sparkly that is. I think that this one is actually my favorite. I think it's because, if you notice, these came with some of these like larger pearl accents, and I think that that adds a lot to the image. Um, but all of these were really fun to make and super simple. Now, if you wanted to do something a little more advanced, let me show you what options you have. Now I told you guys that if you stuck around for the whole video, I would show you an even larger, more extreme version of diamond painting. And that is exactly what I'm doing right now. Look at this. <laughs> so for, some, for comparison, this is our little card, which is great, of course, but I mean, this guy is the extreme. And so this is where Diamond Art Club really got their start, is with canvases. And these canvases themselves are super soft and flexible. I mean, it almost feels like velvet, to be honest. And I've had this guy kind of rolled up in a tube, and it lays pretty flat immediately. So honestly, a great working surface. And just like the greeting cards, it comes already with the adhesive on the canvas. You just have a large plastic sheet similar to the greeting card, and you kind of just pull back the sheet 
in work. And then if you want to take a break, you can put the sheet back over it until you're all the way done with your masterpiece. And you can see that when you're working on these larger canvases, you have a lot more colors you're working with. So you have all these different colors and associated symbols that go with the diamonds. There's even more over on this side. So, I mean, you're really covering a lot of surface area. And I mean, just look at that shimmer. So this is, of course, one of their diamond paintings for the fall season, but they have all kinds of paintings for various different seasons, hobbies, TV shows, anything you're interested in, you should be able to find a painting for it. That's one of the great things that I love about Diamond Art Club. They actually work with artists all over the world and license their artwork directly. So not only are you getting fun artwork from various artists all over the world, giving you a variety of options for the types of paintings you can do, you also know that that artwork is being licensed and the artists are being compensated appropriately. And if you are interested in giving diamond painting a try, whether you're feeling adventurous and want to do one of these large canvases or want to start out a little simpler and try one of the DIY greeting card kits, Diamond Art Club has been kind enough to set up a discount code for all of you. So if you visit the link down in my description and use code RALPH20, you can get 20% off your first order. And with the holidays coming up, I do think that this is a great gift idea. If you're looking for gifts for the children in your life, I think that these card kits are a great option. And then really anyone, like I said, I think would enjoy doing one of these diamond paintings. It's a great way to just turn your brain off for a little bit, do something creative, and all of the heavy lifting is really done for you. You know exactly where you're placing the colors, you have everything you need in the kit, so it's a great way to just disconnect from your screens for a little bit and do something fun and creative. My microphone unfortunately died, but I would just like to thank Diamond Art Club one more time for sponsoring this video. And if you enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot to me if you could please give it a thumbs up. That helps us out more than you know. And if you're new here, I welcome you to subscribe. I make card making and crafting content, and I like to think that we have a lot of fun here, and I would love for you to join us. But without further ado, hope that you have a great rest of your day, and thanks for tuning in. Bye, y'all.